I have loved Star Wars ever since I was a kid. But there are things I want to know. What happened to all the black people? Where are we at? Like, really, though, Mace Windu is the only person in all of the prequels that's black with lines. And Lando quickly allows Empire into his city of clouds. Lando forgot what Empire does to black city like his. But now we have Finn, <laughs> the most bad ass stormtrooper in all of the galaxy. When promos for the newer films dropped, white Twitter stood up in outrage. One stormtrooper out of literally hundreds of thousands of stormtroopers could be black. <laughs> Improbable. Actually, that's unrealistic. This franchise is not the same. Finn's story is one of a runaway slave, a black person that chooses his own name, that refuses the war of his master, that finds the resistance and fights back. I think that's why white folks got so upset. <laughs> Speaking of white folks, Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> the chosen one whose whole origin story is, I'm Star Wars Jesus. <laughs> he's, always, he's always confused me. He was a child that grew up in slavery on a desert planet. Why is he so white? <laughs> Actually, that's my mistake. Anakin is played by a black actor after he turns evil. And the first big evil thing he does is start destroying cultures and planets, is orchestrate a genocide, is make a new empire all for himself. And I will never understand how white supremacy so easily shifts the blame from itself. Will, will instead give the blame to a black man. His deep and scary voice will show evil with the dark side of the force. We'll call Anakin more killing machine than man, then redeem him white as ghost. And whenever I watch a Star Wars movie, I think to myself, they have finally done it made themselves native in every land, graduated from disappearing a continent to making Death Star out of a world, a galaxy, a universe, replaced it with what happens to all the black people. Where are we at? 